Do you know what a cyber truck is? Of course, everyone is aware of it, but this car is altering the game in a fundamental way and no one seems to be talking about it. There are absolutely amazing synergies and cost savings coming from SpaceX and Tesla's cooperation that no other manufacturer can match. In this video, we'll explore the world of Tesla's success and its never-ending search for novel concepts using first principles reasoning. 2015 saw Tesla acquire Charles Kumin, a talented alloy expert with a PhD in material science and engineering who had previously worked at Apple and SpaceX. Kumon contributed a plethora of expertise and experience, and Coleman's insights have been integrated into the Cybertruck in ways that will fundamentally alter the automotive sector. Make sure you subscribe to Tesla Stock News before we get started. That being said, let's begin this video. For now, let's set aside the 8,000-ton Giga Press intended for the Cybertruck's rear body. Sure, it's a significant issue, but that's not what we're discussing today. We are discussing the only feature of the Cybertruck that has an indirect effect on the SpaceX Starship. It's an example of how revolutionary Tesla really is. The fundamental ideas that drive Tesla's success are its continuous improvement and adoption of novel concepts. It's like breathing the company's own air. Charles Kuman, an expert in alloys who left Apple to work with Tesla in SpaceX, was hired by Tesla back in 2015. At both companies, he serves as the head of materials engineering. The Coupon co-founded Quack, a business that created and marketed a number of novel materials engineering instruments, procedures, and alloys. After receiving his PhD in materials science and engineering from Northwestern University, after that he headed Apple's product design department for three years until joining Tesla in SpaceX. We learned a few months ago that Tesla and Steel Dynamics had inked a supply contract for the Cyber Truck. Tesla will receive steel from Steel Dynamics, which is building a new electric arc-furnished steel mill in Texas. By melting steel scraps and turning them into liquid steel using high-current electric arcs, the EF process produces almost 25 of the world's steel. According to Metal Centered News, the FBI's new factory in Sinton, Texas, will have the largest slitting line in North America, installed and run by Ferris 85. The slitter's ability to create slit wists with a range of 8 to 85 inches is essential for building the body of the cyber vehicle. Similar to how it builds its hardware 3 and hardware for fully autonomous chips internally but outsources manufacturing, Tesla is producing its alloy but will need to devise new ways to use it in production. A new stainless steel alloy from the Cybertruck presents a comparable scenario. Giga is three hours distant from Sinton, Texas, home of the Star Factory. The secret to Tesla's domination is right here in Texas and Austin, the ultra-hard 30X cold-rolled stainless steel proprietary alloy, which Elon Musk says has the potential to shatter a stamping press, is the key. Since this particular alloy cannot be stamped like regular steel, Cybertruck has a special planar design. Let's examine the specifics in more detail. In response, Elon Musk shares an intriguing discard. The new steel alloy was first used in Starship SpaceX spacecraft before being incorporated into the Cybertruck. Elon notes that although titanium skins were initially intended for the Cybertruck, stainless steel turned out to be a far more robust choice for Tesla. But this choice is more complicated than it first appears. Elon's real goal is to lower the cost of materials and increase manufacturing volume in order to create more demand for the alloys that SpaceX finally decides on. Higher quantities translate into cheaper costs, so both SpaceEL and Tesla benefit from this technique. It's crucial to remember that the need for alloys and space applications is different from that of Earth, where rust inhibition is the primary issue. When an alloy is re-entered into the Earth's atmosphere, it must be able to endure intense heat. Despite this disparity, it wouldn't be shocking to see Tesla produce a Cybertruck in line with SpaceX's ongoing exploration of other materials. Elon's remarks from the previous summer demonstrate Tesla's dedication to continuously developing materials, unlike traditional manufacturers who remain with materials and design for decades. Tesla changes alloy composition and forming techniques quickly, Thus, old nomenclature conventions like 304 will become less relevant. Tesla is a company that thrives on continuous research and development. 
They even focus on fundamental chemistry, constantly refining and putting new discoveries into practice for the benefit of the regular consumer. The Cybertruck's amazing resistance to dents, scratches, and rust is only one of its astounding properties. More than most people realize, rust is a major issue. So what are the specifics of the 304 Owl and 30X cold rolling alloys? I could spend hours discussing this subject, but for now, allow me to give you the main areas of discussion and significance when Elon Musk describes certain sheet metal and stainless steel as being extremely hard. Engineers might object since strong in terms of strength or yield strength is the proper engineering phrase. Although Elon is aware of this, he also recognizes that yield strength may not be a concept that the typical Tesla fan is familiar with. The idea of yield stress markings or yield strength, the critical point at which plastic deformation of a material begins polymer when a material is subjected to external influences that cause it to permanently alter shape. This is referred to as behavior. In essence, yield strength establishes the highest load or force that may be applied without permanently deforming the material or changing its shape. Let's now explore the fascinating history of the 30X and its significance. Thomas Bradford asked an interesting question near the end of 2019. Elon Musk responded that he was unsure if the 30X represented the alloy type, such as 303 or 304, or if it actually meant 30 times the hardness. Bradford's question was answered somewhat later in 2019. Elon acknowledged that it was a fantastic question and answered with admiration. He disclosed that it was a novel variety of stainless steel from the 300 series, undergoing several cold working procedures contingent on the kilotons of pressure exerted during that period. It was not exactly 303 or 304, but rather a creative series that made multiple cold pressing experiments. The 300 series of stainless steel is a genuine alloy family that is renowned for its affordability, resilience to corrosion, and durability. Elon stated that the intended alloy was 3 mm thick, or roughly 0.118 inches. The steel and Cybertruck doors are three times thicker than the majority of other door panels according to this thickness comparison. Steel has a crystal structure that can be Cuban body sensor, cubic or face-centered. It changes from one phase of crystalline structure to another when heated or then cooled. That when discussing terminology like genuine or marktensitive Austin-Titex stainless steel, it is important to understand that Cybertruck alloys is the non-magnetic portion of the material, but it can acquire some magnetic qualities by cold working or cold rolling. The 300 series includes a range of stainless steel varieties that fall under the aesthetic category. In addition, Elon had earlier tweeted on the significance of the letter L. That indicates extremely low carbon in this scenario. For example, the maximum carbon content of 304 stainless steel is 0.8%, while the maximum carbon component of 304L is 0.3%. Although 304's reduced carbon content makes it stronger structurally than 304, it is still advantageous. It weld joints are supposed to last a lifetime when used in corrosive environments and throughout the wielding process. And when considering the stainless steel series types similar to battery chemistries, each offers advantages, disadvantages, and trade-offs. Elon's last hint mentioned the particular series of stainless steels 304 but it's crucial to remember that this will be a custom alloy, which means Tesla and SpaceX won't be using any of the conventional 300 series alloys. But while details are yet unknown, we do know that the alloy will go through hot rolled steel, is compressed between a number of power rollers during the cold rolling process, which work hardens and finishes the steel to create thinner and tougher steel sheets. Contrary to popular opinion, cold rolled stainless steel is excellent. For applications demanding high precision strength and outstanding surface qualities, the fundamental goal of cold rolling is to preserve tight tolerances, thickness and flatness while assuring uniformity throughout the process. Layering is not involved. The crystalline structure of the hot rod steel elongates and dislocates in the direction of the roll as pressure is applied to it. This effectively increases the yield strength of the material. Recall that Ferris 85 was a supplier of hot rolled steel to Tesla. After hot rolling, cold rolling produces steel that is more resistant to deformation and tension breaking. 
Let's clear up a common mistake now. We don't need to brag about the alloy's 30 times hardiness or emphasize how well it can withstand 30 rounds of rolling. Though it's theoretically conceivable to stretch the boundaries, it makes no sense from a manufacturing standpoint. More jobs don't make tolerances miraculously better forever. In fact, internal stress increases with each roll, and we don't want to jeopardize the integrity of the content. Furthermore, when Elon Musk first unveiled this idea, that wasn't even his intention. The real revelation from Elon Musk is that this extremely tough 30x steel cannot be easily stamped. In order to even bend it, a deep score must be made inside. This is how the amazing Cybertruck prototype was made, and this is also where the magic happens when making the body panels for the vehicle. Tesla uses an innovative method that reduces the need for forming processes, put an end to conventional stamping, and take advantage of laser cutting's accuracy and efficiency. My friends, they are game changers. Elon Musk himself demonstrated the incredible durability and mind-blowing footage of the Cybertruck. The skin of the video resisted point-blank range sledgehammer hits, as well as 9mm full metal jacket bullets fired from only 10 meters away. This is a completely new degree of resilience. This is only the start. There are lots of intriguing opportunities ahead like this video. If you thought it was insightful, you should think about subscribing for more fantastic Tesla stuff. But remember, there's always more adventure ahead. I hope you have an incredible day.